Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix a very common issue on these cars. Uh, this works on the Chevy Impalas, the Monte Carlos, um, pretty much anything with this body style. And uh, what happens is um, you'll the radio will turn on fine. <clears throat> you can change all the stations, but no sound. Okay. A lot of places you bring it to will tell you it's the radio that's bad. They put a new radio in it, still doesn't work. Then they'll tell you that the amp in the trunk is bad. And they'll put a new amp in it, still won't work. What the real issue is, is under this wiper cowl right here, there's a seal that goes across. And what it does is it keeps water that comes down the windshield from going down through into the cabin air filter. And uh, what happens is that seal falls off, lets all the water run right down into the cabin air filter, onto the passenger side floor. And right behind the driver's seat, right in this area, in the main wiring harness, there's a connection where two power wires connect into one power wire that go to the battery, and two ground wires from the amplifier connect into one ground wire that go to the battery. And what happens is that connection gets all corroded from the moisture, and it breaks and the amplifier in the trunk loses uh, power and you lose sound. So I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. Okay, first thing you have to do is uh, pull this little piece of trim up, like so. And you're going to need a T50 Torx. And you're going to want to remove the seatbelt bolt right here. You don't have to do this on the Impalas, you can just open the rear door and you can pull the carpet back and get to it from there, but on the Monte Carlos, you do have to do this. So you're going to pull this carpet back, pull this wiring harness up, and right here where the loom starts, you're going to open it up. And what you're looking for is an orange wire, just like this, with some tape wrapped around it. And that's supposed to go to two orange wires which are right here. See that right there? So this wire is supposed to be connected to there. Normally it'll still look like it's connected, but if you pull on it a little, um, it'll break. And then as well as those, you have two black wires. You can see another bundle of tape here. And there's two black wires, and those go into a single black wire. Right there. You're going to want to pull on those too. Um, if I was in here, even if that's tight, this one's not coming loose, but I would redo that too. Now on the Impala, you might want to remove the rear seat. Uh, makes it a little easier to pull the carpet back. You don't have to do that. You can do that on this model too, but you don't have to do that. You can pull it back enough, even on the Impala, to get into this harness right here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and fixed both the power and the ground. I just took a scrap piece of wire soldered it to the end that has the two conductors and soldered it to the single end. Uh, heat shrunk it. I also did the same thing to the grounds. Um, like I said, even if it's not loose, I would go ahead and do it anyway. It's a uh, good insurance that you don't have to do this again later on when that one breaks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Drive in Main Street That's it. We got sound. Okay. So now that you fix that, you have to fix the source of the problem. The problem stems from under the here, under the hood. Okay. That's your cabin air filter right here. Okay. You're gonna have to remove this cowl right here. Um, there's just one pin that holds it in here. One clip there and uh, take off the weather stripping across the front and you can lift this up and you'll see your cabin air filter. Now there's supposed to be a seal and what happens is it falls down inside here. Here it is right here. This seal is supposed to be stuck right on this pinch weld right here, right above the filter. So what happens is all the water runs right off this, right into the filter and onto the floor and it gets back to where that connection is. So what you're going to want to do is take some silicone and re-glue that seal back up on that pinch well. Got everything put back together. Got the wires all soldered, all wrapped back up, taped back together, put back under the carpet. 
Got the seat belt bolted back in. Got the seal under the wiper cowl fixed. And we have sound. So this should be good for a long, long time. Should never have that issue again. Okay, so an easy way to test for this issue or if this will work on your vehicle is to go in the trunk and locate the factory amplifier. It will be up on the roof of the trunk. Um, if there's no amplifier there, then this isn't your issue. Um, some of the Impalas don't have the amplifier. So I want to make sure it's there for one thing. And then right on this plug right here, you can see these two orange wires and these two black wires. You want to make sure that the black wires have a good ground and the orange wires are 12 volt. So you can take a multimeter and put your negative probe in each one, try each one individually and put your positive probe in each orange and test each one individually. Both oranges have to have 12 volts, both uh, blacks have to have ground. So you'll probably find most likely that um, one of those isn't happening. You're either not getting ground or you're not getting power. So that's how you'll know if this will fix your issue.